Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today for you guys, we're back here with some more Fortnite Save the World content. So today we're going to be completing this mission to finally get to level 16 on Ventures. Uh, 16 or 15 on Ventures. Basically, I'm going to be trying to do this on every single... Every single time I'm close to leveling up, I'm going to be making a video uh, when I'm entered into the match. And I'm going to be completing it in the video. Completing the match in the video. So what I'll do is I'll cut this. I'll see you all once I get into the action part. And then once we get into the actual storm shield. Or not storm shield. Once we get into the actual defense. And uh, yeah. See you all there. Alright everyone. We're back. And we're finally in the action segment. I don't think what my teammates did was smart. But I mean hey I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to be the judge of it just yet. They think it's going to work. I'm going to go with it. I don't know for sure, though. I feel like it's not going to work. But like I said, I'm not going to judge it. I'll We'll let it play out and then see how it works in the end. But yeah, basically, this is just what I'm going to be doing for a little while. Um, once the internet gets better, you'll probably be seeing me stream for hours and hours on end. Uh, of course, after I finish all my school and everything once i have the time to actually but yeah oh boy one of the things that i would suggest doing is try to use outlanders all the time on ventures they're actually really useful now and i just got one shot or an insta killed and nobody's gonna revive me, so I'm just gonna use this instead. I don't know why nobody revives. Uh, then again, actually, you know what? No, this event looks like it's working, so I can't really... Like I said, I wasn't gonna judge in the first place. Until I saw how it worked. Because I was like, ah, uh, maybe it might work. Oh, wait a minute, this is a burst? Oh, that's cool. All right. Oh, and this is actually pretty flipping good, dude. Like, take a look at this damage. That's actually some low. That's actually a load of damage right there. Holy, bro. Look at that. I'm doing insane amounts of damage. These husks ain't gonna last long at all. No, oh, my wolf. I shall res you. I shall resurrect you. Please survive longer. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is fun. Pop these. No, 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 no. Oh my. Alright, spawn back in again. <laughs> Dang, that was such a dumb decision for me to make. And, uh, yeah, basically... So this is basically what I'm going to be doing for the Save the World videos and stuff. I'm just going to be recording myself completing missions and leveling up and showing the rewards it gives you. And then showing how high your power level goes up in the, s in the ventures. Now, one of the things I would no put note to note is level up in that in actual save the world first and then play ventures because if you don't got any 130 heroes you're not going to be getting too far in because if you're not like leveled up in the main game itself you're kind of just doing this you're going to get to high uh, power level missions and you're going to be kind of just insta killed like if you were to play um twine peak within the first day of you loading into save the world that's basically what it'll be like once you get into the high rounds. I mean, even now, I'm using a 130 hero and pretty much a whole 130 loadout. And yet, I'm still getting knocked left and right. Which, I'm not too surprised about. Also, let me know. When I post this video, do you guys want to see me uh, do... Whatchamacallit? Do like a hun uh, 30 days uh, challenge? Basically, what I do is I spend 30 days... And... Uh, playing keyboard and mouse only 
and then I'll post like every day I'll post one video and I'll show my progress between the day one to day three and then um, yeah that's basically what I'll do you guys want to see that or no where's my wolf bro where's my wolf what did you all do to my wolf yeah one of the loadouts I would at least recommend to you is oh at least when you're fighting a lot and you know you're gonna be doing that use a hero that gives back your health for eliminating an enemy it's actually really useful especially if you're someone who loses health quickly or you who loves to stay in the storm this kind of stuff's actually really helpful also please don't use this weapon in high rounds in uh twine peaks or yeah just twine peaks this is gonna be stupid to use i mean it's good because we're in plankerton and i can actually do damage with the loadout i'm using but even with that it's not gonna be great for you to use it's gonna be completely pointless that's actually one of the mistakes i made i think i didn't create an assault loadout i created a backup loadout basically what a backup loadout is for me is basically that just allows me to stay in like as backup just in case the zombies or husks get past so if they do i am able to help them from a side from afar i guess and yeah that's basically what it is it's nothing really special or anything i'm just kind of a more laid back player when i'm playing keyboard and mouse but yeah that's basically the gist of it or the gist of it i don't know how to what it is um also i am looking for a fan game uh so let me know in the comment section down below this video do you guys want to see me play a um a free roam five nights of freddy's game or do you guys want to see me play a um the normal way five nights of freddy's used to be played where you're stuck in the office and I'm saying Five Nights at Freddy's instead of saying, like, others than that. Because, really, the fan games that are, um, that aren't Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, do actually, aren't actually even that good. And I'm not saying that all of them are bad. I'm not saying that at all. But I am saying, one of, if you're going for, like, the difference between free roam and an actual, like, story type, you're better off choosing between the two versions of the FNAF that I'm talking about. I mean, unless, like I said, unless you all have a recommendation for me. Yeah, if you do, just let me know. And take a look, we're already through this mission with 8 minutes of a video. That's awesome. I would have made a video on completing Storm King within uh, 4 minutes, but I couldn't because I did, was too slow to. So yeah. GG's everybody. What I'll probably be doing is I'll probably make a video. I'll probably like stream on uh what's it called? Actually, I probably won't stream, but I'll do a frost night with my, one of my friends. A few of them actually. Oh dang, we missed all those good rewards. That sucks, but oh well. What if? Um, and I will be posting it as a video. I will not be streaming it just because of how slow the internet has been throughout today. So, yeah. Uh, I'll have to see if Savage wants to join me on it. It'll probably be somewhere between tomorrow or, uh, next Sunday because it is not a quick event. Especially not the editing portion of the whole video. So, yeah. Here we go.